Hi, welcome to Zone Matrix walkthrough video. Zone Matrix is a powerful performance tool for contact that enables you to play multiple sample libraries simultaneously by organizing them into powerful performance multis. Zone Matrix is laid out in an intuitive top to bottom workflow. You start by activating one of the eight available zones. An active zone receives incoming MIDI data. This data is then manipulated by the settings and functions located on all four main pages. The manipulated data will then be sent to the correlated instruments on contacts rack. All of the above settings are auto-saved into the active scene. You can jump between eight available scenes to create progressions, switch ensembles, change variations, alter mixes, and so forth. All of the scenes are saved within your multi and can also be saved to an external preset for later recall. For this demonstration, I've loaded four contact instruments, a bassoon, clarinet, oboe, and flute staccato patches. I want to limit the bassoon to a specific key range. I can do it manually by dragging up or down, or by using the arrow keys. Shift click in an arrow key jumps by octaves up or down. But the best and quickest way is by using MIDI Learn. Just alt click the minimum key range to activate MIDI Learn and play the desired note on your keyboard. Once in learn mode, I can also use contacts keyboard to set the value. I'll do the same for the maximum key range. You can also set the entire key range in a single process by alt clicking on the zones keyboard and playing two notes on your MIDI hardware or a contacts keyboard. The lower value will be grabbed into the minimum slot and the higher into the maximum slot. You can play them in any order. Notes inside the key range and velocity range, which we'll get to in a second, will light up the keyboard indicating that they pass to the instrument. Notes outside the key and velocity range will be omitted. You can also MIDI learn multiple zones at the same time. You can reset any value by using control click. I'll control click this minimum key range value to reset it back to default. As you've probably noticed by now, Zone Matrix makes extensive use of shortcuts to boost the workflow. All of them are listed in the manual and contacts info pane. Just hover above the function and look at the info pane. Next in line is a self-explanatory polyphony limiter. Once exceeded, the oldest note will be killed. We can use the transpose function to remap the instruments freely across the keyboard, or create intervals and chords when played with other zones. Here too you can use the arrow key shift click combo to jump in octaves up or down. The octaver allows you to add up to three additional octaves above the played notes. This can really add impact to your leads and chords. Let's add an extra octavated note to our bassoon. But first, I will solo it so we can focus on the sound. You do that by shift clicking the zone button. This sounds quite good. Click the zone button area to unsolo. While we're at it, Alt Shift clicking anywhere in the zone button area toggles all of them on or off. Control clicking a zone button 
opens the Zone Reset dialog box that allows you to totally reset the zone. For now, I'll choose not to reset. Let's repeat the process for all remaining instruments by making sure they are routed to the correct MIDI channels, setting up the ranges, polyphony, transpose and octave settings to taste. You can reset all of the zone's key range settings by control clicking the keyboard. Finally, you can globally reset all of the key range page by control clicking the key range button. While we read it, the panic button resets all MIDI messages. Use it in case you encounter hanged MIDI notes. The reset button prompts a dialog box that enables you to reset the current scene or zone matrix back to default. More about scenes later. Let's add brass and string instruments to our multi. I want these added sections to be triggered only by high velocities. The key range practices we saw earlier also apply to the velocity page. You can set values manually or use the MIDI Learn functionality. Using the same principles, let's add a celesta and pizzicatos to the softer velocities. Even though I want the Celesta and Pizzicato patches to play only on the softer velocities, I do want them to play higher velocity values. This is where the shift function comes in. It allows you to add or subtract a fixed number from all incoming MIDI notes velocities. The fixed velocity function transforms all incoming velocity to a fixed value, which means it doesn't matter how hard or soft I play, the output velocity will always stay the same. Naturally, you cannot shift the velocity and give it a fixed value at the same time. This is why if you move one of them, it resets the other. You can reset all of the velocity settings by control clicking the velocity bar or globally reset all of the zone's velocity settings by control clicking the velocity button. The CC filter page comes in handy when you want to block certain CCs from reaching their correlated instruments. There are 8 common CCs to choose from, plus 2 freely assignable slots for every zone. 
For example, let's say I want the pitch bend data to only affect the oboe. All I need to do is block all pitch bend data from reaching the other instruments, like this. We can create more extensive filter routings if we need to, but for this demonstration it will do. Here too you can reset all of the zone CC filter settings by control clicking one of the CC buttons. Or globally reset all of the zone CC filter settings by control clicking the page button. The mixer page allows you to control the volume and panning of all instruments. All of the faders and knobs are MIDI learnable by simply alt-clicking and moving the desired controller on your hardware. To cancel the MIDI Learn function, Alt-Shift-Click the desired knob or fader. To maximize orientation, double-click the name strip below each fader to label the zone. Press Exit once you're done. To erase the name, control click it. Reset all of the zone's mixer settings by control clicking the page button. All the work we did so far was out of save to scene 1. Zone Matrix has 8 fully independable scenes. This means you can use completely different settings for each scene and even route it to totally different instruments. You can also copy one scene to another by using the copy and paste buttons. Let's copy scene 1 by pushing the copy button and paste it into scene 2 by selecting it and pushing the paste button. I'll use this scene to play all of the instruments in unison, so I'll change the settings accordingly. Key switches are a great way to switch scenes. Activate a key switch by dragging the node value beneath the scene button. And yes, the key switch is also MIDI learnable by alt-clicking the box and playing the desired note on your MIDI hardware or contacts keyboard. One of my favorite shortcuts is alt-shifting a key switch box. This automatically fills all slots with note values C-2 to G-2. If you want to, you can also use program change messages to switch scenes. Reset an entire scene by control clicking the scene button. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you got a taste of what Zone Matrix can add to your workflow. Please watch the live demonstration videos for more inspiration, ideas, tips and tricks, and cool multis examples. You're invited to check out my other instruments at www.hegid.com. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell notification icon.
so you will always be notified when I upload new creative content. Thank you so much, and enjoy the Note Matrix experience.